This video is part two, showing how we can build out this motion graphic in Unreal Engine 5.4. And uh, we'll start out with a blank project and work our way towards building out our uh, essentially motion graphics toolkit using free assets from the marketplace in this video. It, it all started from a blank project, right? So if we start out in our Epic Launcher, uh, if, if you don't have the preview installed already, you can click this plus button and then this drop down arrow should give you uh, the, the 5.4 preview at the very, very top. I've already got it installed, so it's not available in my list, uh, but that's how this got installed. It takes a good bit of time to install it. Um, it's it's quite, a, quite a lot of gigabytes, if I remember correctly. Not, not a million of them. Um, uh, this is UE54. Okay, yeah. So th this the final install for me was uh, 128 gigs on disk. So uh, that was with the starter content on, but not the other options. So when you are installing, you can set up some options here where I have the core and I have the starter content, but I uh, did not select you know the templates and feature packs. Maybe I should have done that. Um, I'll activate that later. Uh, engine source, I didn't need uh, symbols, you know, and, and all these other target platforms are all unchecked. So with just the starter content and the core components um, that came in at, uh, you know, 128 gig uh, size on disk. And so, uh, so that's, that's how that turned out. Okay. Um, you hit the launch button and you'll get a window like this, which if you're an existing Unreal Engine user, you'll, you'll see all of your projects. But uh, I just went ahead and made a blank project and gave it a place to go to. And, you know, I just call this uh, a demo uh, thing thingy. All right, there we go. And I left it set to blueprint and I did go with uh, the desktop target platform and I have my quality set to maximum. Uh, Disclaimer, um, this uh, system, it's an older CPU. It's this, the computer is probably a good, um, it's probably getting close to 10 years old, honestly. It's got to be a good eight years old at least. Uh, but the GPU is an RTX A6000. A, a so, so there's some beefy uh, GPU processing going on in here. All right, so I could go ahead and hit create on that and, and let that create. And I'll end up with a blank project there. Uh, then the next thing I wanted to do was build up a bit of a, a motion graphics kit of assets to play with. So in my content browser here, uh, if I go up to content, uh, some of the things that I installed are the virtual studio kit, the automotive material and a starter bundle sci-fi kit. So they all came from the, um, marketplace well, samples, for example, uh, you can go to samples and uh, select this virtual studio kit. And, and when you do, it wants you to uh, create a full project. So I went ahead and did that for version 5.3. So you'll see in my library, I have version 5.3 here. And uh, that's the whole virtual studio kit as a project. And, and this is what that looks like open. And all I did was uh, right click on the virtual studio kit folder inside there and use the migrate command to uh, copy that folder. So I said, okay, here, and um, and then pointed to the content folder of my little uh, motion design uh, 5.3 pre-release project. And so it was empty at the time, but I uh, migrated this whole thing over. And that's how the Virtual Studio Kit and Virtual Studio uh, set went over there. Uh, another thing that I added was a automotive material pack and that's in the marketplace so just going over to the the marketplace tab in the launcher typing in the word automotive and hitting enter that kind of uh gives you a whole bunch of stuff but the very first thing here is a uh free materials pack and if you're not seeing that there you can always hit the free filter and uh and it should show up really easily for you there um, looks like my uh, new project is all finished in terms of uh, being created. So this is that new project that I generated. It's It's got nothing in it right now. So as an example, um, you know, this is the demo thingy. I could go ahead into my um, automotive materials and add to project. And it, it only supports officially up to 5.1. But when you hit add to project, um, you know, the, the new stuff doesn't show up. But if I can check this checkbox show all projects well then there's my demo thingy 
and you get some red warning text here but all we need to do is select the newest version 5.1 and add to project and uh and this will just copy right over and uh when this is finished we can go back to that blank project and see all of that content uh, while that's working i'll go to one last thing that i did and so i went to the um uh, free content here in the um, marketplace and I oh look at that new stuff trains I like it uh, just I went to oldest first and there is a, a really cool old sci-fi setup here I'm just going to expand this to a hundred per page and so I just hit free uh, oldest first and scroll down a bit and there is a sci-fi kit in here and for some there it is right here so this is it modular sci-fi season one starter pack so i added this to this project as well because uh, it has some really cool shapes in it if we kind of look at it, the content here um, the materials are cool some of these little shapes could be useful uh, the ones that i really thought would be handy in particular are there's like this control room with all of these circular shapes and i knew i wanted to do a bunch of circular motion in the background of this and so i just figured i would um bring this in as well and use assets from this so uh i added this to my project and again i'll just uh, show all projects this only supports up to five three but um by showing all i can select my demo project again and uh go to 5.3 and add that to project as well and uh, that will go in there so if I go to my demo thingy project which should be open here somewhere here it is um, we can see that the uh, automotive kit is already copied over and that starter bundle that sci-fi kit that's going in there right now um, and while we're at it um, I'll go ahead to this kit and virtual studio kit, right click migrate and we'll accept everything that's in this folder and we will send that to the demo thingy project and select content and select folder. So all of the assets we're seeing in this studio will go over and, and that's kind of my initial, uh, you know, motion graphics toolkit because there's really nice materials and, and um, meshes and things like that that we can use. So that's how I got things started here. Uh, one other thing that I did was create a uh, custom kind of doodad um, gizmo thingy uh, that I wanted to use in the shield. So I knew that in this little project that I wanted to have kind of this shield shape going and that I wanted to have something that was kind of bedazzling that on the inside and so I wanted a shape that I could customize so um, just use the modeling tools for that so I will create a uh, new folder here in my empty project and I'll just call this uh, motion design and double click into there and um, I'll, I'll create a new empty level to work in so just right click and level and uh, we'll just call this MD map and control S to save that and double click to open it so nothing here at all nothing up my sleeve and I will shift this to unlit and, uh, and, and we'll work with this in a little bit. So uh, this was, you know, save all, um, the, the starting point. So we're, we're blank and just to show some of the things we imported in the automotive uh, materials, I'm mainly using the materials folder here. And in particular, exteriors got some great stuff. So car paint, um, lots of things that have uh, iridescence to them so you can see that like in uh, the fall off when the normals are facing away from the camera you know this is shifting from a bright blue off to a green um, I really like one of the this blue one kind of goes from blue off to purple uh, you know and all of these have little car paint speckles in them so they're really cool um, there's also a great collection of metals in here including some that have kind of a um, you know iridescence to them or uh, kind of brushed pattern to them 
And uh, there's also some glasses. Uh, the reflectors here are really cool and uh, some glass materials. I didn't use all of these, but I uh, just wanted to show this is why I included this kit in my little uh, project here. And uh, the virtual studio kit, the things that I like are, again, materials. Um, there are lots of really nice glossy materials to work with. I think I used this wall material in some things. And then also uh, the glows. I, I really like the glows. Uh, the glows got used, probably overused in this project. Uh, so those are some of the things. But in addition to the materials, there are some really nice uh, meshes. So if we go into mesh and say Paragon, for example, again, there's some ring shaped things and um, other kind of uh, frames and stuff. Uh, I think I used this ring light uh, for some of the action that was in the background of of this, right? So if I go back to my sequencer and, and like, so half of these rings are from that sci-fi kit and another half are from uh, the virtual studio. So those are um, where all these things came from. Also this Epic Games logo, by the way, that came from this kit. I think it's in uh, content virtual studio kit, uh, meshes and Paragon. There's the Epic logo. So that's where I got that Epic logo from. So that's just kind of a, a quick tour. In our next video, we're going to take a look at some really important steps to setting up motion design in Unreal 5.4 so that we can move ahead with the project. Hope this helps. Until next time, have fun.